<laughs> he might have gone for a big walk. It looks like both Ellie and Masa Kagawa have left the table, so we're going to be playing this hand six-handed. Remember, you don't have to play when you're playing cash game. In a tournament, these players would be getting dealt in and blinded out. Patrick Antonius suited 10-9. And he's going to raise it to 2,500. One of the few hands so far where someone hasn't straddled. Tony G going to call this after Phil Ivey folded. Chris Ferguson folds. So does Hansen. Well, pretty strong drawing hand so far. So Jawanda will call three players to the flop. And here is the flop. Ace Queen Ten of Diamonds. Wow. <laughs> I've I've only had two royal flushes in my career, Barry. This is a very rare hand. Obviously, Tony G with the nuts and no possible way of losing this hand unless he should somehow misread his hand and fold. He <laughs> had a big look like on a bit. And it's been checked around to Patrick. And he checks his bottom pair. I check. And so does Tony. Well, of course he's gonna give his his opponents a chance to maybe catch up a little. And he catches a nine of diamonds here. Well, Patrick has two pair now. If it comes a nine or a ten on the river, he could get in trouble with a full house. Jawanda still with a pair and a straight draw. And Tony G is going to continue slow playing. Queen of clubs. Well, Jawanda made trips, but of course, he loses to any diamond. Needless to say, Tony G has better than that. Six thousand to bet from Tony G. Jawanda gets away from his hand. And, of course, Patrick can't possibly call. Well, he's thinking about it, maybe. And he folds. Pretty sick one. Ah, sick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got a shot at him. Wow. What are the odds to flop that? I had trips. Sick. It's not often you can flop a roll flush. <laughs> So Tony G flops the rarest hand at all.